welcome back to my unlikely today i'm going to be sharing with you guys my grocery haul plus meal plan we are a family of four it's me my husband james and our two kids uh they are five and nine so they don't eat too much but they are they are pretty hefty about the snacks so this week i actually skipped the snacks and we're going to try to you know really buckle down on getting dinner um now that i'm just home more i want to make sure i'm preparing more food because we've been out eating out way too much through the summer and just being lazy and I haven't been cooking and um, as I mentioned to you guys over on my Instagram I want to start being more healthy uh, we got a gym membership at our local YMCA we're all going there weekly now my husband's taking like uh, some fitness class and I want to start doing my workouts at home so I just want to make it a point to start cooking more at home now I always get a, su um, a suggestion that I have too much sugar in my grocery haul uh, but this week I do have a lot of the fresh produce, but when it comes to cooking, I do try to use like already made packets, um, sauces, stuff like that. I do buy that stuff pre-made because it just makes like cooking a lot faster for me. And it's still a better choice than going to fast food, in my opinion, because we spend too much time in the drive-thru. So this week I'm going to take you through what our meal plan is going to be. Um, the kids probably won't eat one or two of these meals. We might skip one, but I just bought the stuff to have on hand so that we are prepared. So this week's meals are baked shrimp, uh, which I do in the oven on like a sheet pan, um, tacos, frozen meal day, something just we can have for quick, meatloaf, Instapot pork chops. This will be my first week using my Instapot, actually my first recipe sheet pan fajitas and chicken and veggies so i predominantly already had some of like the things i need to cook on hand like one of the recipes calls for like brown sugar one calls for rice you know salt pepper some seasonings i already have some stuff on hand like cheese but i got the bulk of what i needed here and so these are going to be our seven dinners now if you don't know my kids do eat breakfast and lunch at school most days of the week uh we do they do eat lunch at school pretty much every day it's just their choice and we get free breakfast and free lunch so i'm definitely not going to say no if that's their choice they don't really like a lot of lunch foods so i'll take what i can get as long as they're eating something to get through the day um but we try to do i try to do like a hot breakfast a couple times a week so i'll keep like waffles and sausage and like pancakes oatmeal stuff like that on hand to have in the morning when they do want something um or like a fruit smoothie or a quick fruit or bar or something like that uh and then like have a few snacks on hand i didn't go overboard with the snacks this week because they are in school i just want to get our like after school routine down to where we can just have our dinner and be satiated and be fine because like I said I'm trying to just get everybody back on good healthy eating schedule timing and you know getting in the vitamins <laughs> also um, just while I'm here let me know down below if you can recommend me a multivitamin for kids and for adults we were doing the nature valley ones but I would like to kind of branch out and make sure we're kind of getting uh, more of what we need like a more quality one and I will note that I do tend to get nauseous when I take vitamins. So if that happens to you and you have a suggestion as to something that helped you or did taking your vitamins at night help you, let me know down below because um, I really want to take one. I, I doubt I don't need it. Um, it's just hard to take them when you know you're sick from it because you don't want to take something that makes you feel like crap when you're trying to feel good, right? Okay, so enough yapping. Let's get into this grocery haul and I'll share with you everything that I got. Okay, so I'm going to start over here. I just recently tried one of these at Aldi's, and it is so good. The ingredients in here is good. It's these whole simple frozen meals. You can make them in the microwave or in the oven. The ingredient list in them is pretty short, and it's pretty all wholesome. So I tried this, and I happen to like this a lot and it's like seasoned well it's not too spicy but it's definitely there's a kick in there and I don't really like spicy food but I did happen to like this it was really flavorful and pretty healthy and it has good protein amount in it so I got me and James each one of these to have on frozen meal day and I just grabbed this one to try since I like the other one so much maybe this one will be similar so I got us each just one of those and here's some other random thing I got just in case the kids don't want to eat what we're having. I'll make them spaghetti and try these meatballs right here. These are non-meat meatballs, so we'll try those. And for the snacks, which the kids already got into, you've seen Jordan over here. She already got into the chips and guac and to the pretzels, so I always get those. I got some ice cream on hand, so I got some, some of these for dessert, maybe incentive for eating a healthy dinner. <laughs> um, I got some of the shredded wheat cereal some honey buns. Jordan loves honey buns. 
And she's so little, I can't deny her eating a honey bun just so she can keep her weight up when she doesn't eat. Um, I got these for Savannah. These are her favorite bar. And these ones right here. I'm really sad because I can't eat any bars anymore just because I don't eat like peanuts and um, coconut oil and stuff, but they really like these ones. So I get these to have on hand. I got some of these crackers. Now these crackers is what I use for my meatloaf. I use the Paula Deen meatloaf recipe. It's a sweet meatloaf. It's really sugary, but it's totally a comfort meal for us and everybody likes it. So I got that. Well, I shouldn't say everybody, but me and my husband really enjoy it. I got this cornstarch from Aldi's. This is for the, um, the Instapot recipe. And I'm trying this caramel macchiato, macchiato um, K-Cups from Aldi's just to kind of see what that tastes like for the holiday. Well, not holiday, but for the season. I got broccoli over here. Jordan loves broccoli dipped in ranch. So that's her vegetable of choice. And I'm like, okay, I don't care how much ranch you use. Just go ahead, have the broccoli, get some greens in you. Uh, this is Jordan's milk. She prefers almond milk. She drinks vanilla. And this is for the rest of us. I got a head of lettuce. Um, something really cool to note, let me know down below, uh, comment the price of your milk in your area. Our milk that Aldi here, this one was $1.49 today. So comment down below the price of your milk. Um, I got these from Myers now. These are earthbound organic salad leaves. Um, I just got these to have in my salad. James doesn't prefer them, but I sneak them in his sometimes. But he usually just uses lettuce or like regular blend. I got this thing of chicken here. This is what I'm going to use for the fajitas and stuff. And I kind of got it to where it's like already sliced so I don't have to deal with it. And then I'll just half this. I can actually make this into two recipes for $7. So I thought this was a good buy. I got a thing of beef hamburger. I don't particularly like all these like flavor of beef but since I was there and it was a particular it was a particular good deal I just went ahead and got it but I've noticed over time I don't really like the taste of their beef but since it is going to be mixed in with stuff that's why I just went ahead and got it and I also got some of their thin sliced boneless pork chops right here this is what I'm going to be using to make the instapot pork chops and I got some hard salami this brings me back to my keto days for sure so I got some hard salami and some cheese just to make like little um, snack roll-ups. This is just basically for me or James like when we want a snack on the day. Because he is here on Monday too. And then I got two of these right here. These green peppers and then multicolored peppers. I got a bag of russet potatoes. I can never do the larger one. I always do the five pound one because it seems like it goes bad. Sometimes I'm even iffy about this, so I decided if there's any leftover, I'll just have baked potato for lunch and just have like a vegan day, basically. I got all my sauce packets right here. Um, I got brown gravy, ranch, and this one was from Meyer. I actually already had this one on hand. I just showed it to you to share because this was for my tacos, but t taco seasoning. And this is from Myers too. I absolutely love the Olive Garden Italian dressing. This just reminded me of it, so I tried it. It's not the exact same, but it is really good. But if you've ever had Marzetti dressing, it does have that Marzetti trademark flavor to it. But it is really good. Got some onions and some carrots. I'm just sick and tired and sick and tired of buying the baby cut carrots and I'm going to waste. So I'm just buying these hearty stocks and then I'm just going to use them up in soups and stuff. And then if my daughter does want to cut them up and cook them down for herself, well not just herself, me too, but then we will but I got these ones just so that I can use them in more cooking because I prefer these for cooking over like the baby cut carrots in the bag I got them some string cheese of course already sneaked into and some butter my favorite one is the Kerrygold butter we don't actually use margarine or butter anymore we use Kerrygold um, grass-fed butter but they had this one there so we're gonna try this one countryside creamer this is from Aldi's some cheese my daughter tried a grilled cheese the other day and she actually liked it so maybe I can get them to eat grilled cheese because they don't eat that this is from Meyer. it's a jalapeno ranch this was like 60 cents um, I got this for James to try because he's like been requesting more spicier food so we're gonna try that I got some feta cheese some sour cream 
and I shouldn't be eating this because I don't, like I said, eat nuts or seeds or anything, but I just really love almond butter with apples. It's one of my favorite healthy snacks that I can no longer have. And I kind of, I'm just going to try it out and see how it works out. <laughs> Wish me luck, but try this out if you don't, if you haven't. Almond butter and you just mix this. You can mix this in your smoothies or um, like chocolate shakes or just dip your apples in it and it's so good. And then Aldi has these sparkling frost waters right here. The kids love these. They drink them like pop. So I'm like, okay, go ahead and have them because they do have some vitamins in there. And pantothenic acid. So when you're looking, when you're doing shopping and you're looking at the nutrition facts, anything that's listed over 10% is, is good. So anything that's like 20% or more is great amount to have in there. And anything like 10% or less is pretty low. So you know, that's how you kind of know, like if you're looking for something that has high source of vitamins, pay attention to those percentages. Next up, and I, I guess it's like, it seems kind of low in terms of 100% and 20%, but you gotta figure when you're buying food, you have to pay attention to like the serving size. So 20% in a serving size of something like this, that's a good amount of vitamins and something like that. So keep that in mind if you're new to checking labels. Now from Meyer, I, I love getting my produce from Meyer. I prefer it that way. So they had these on sale. They're like $1.90. They're kind of like waxing stuff, but I clean them up. And then what I do is I get them in warm water and I like to bag freeze them into the freezer and eat them as frozen grapes or thaw them out as a snack. And I got this. It was a fortune. They had one for $17, but I got this one for $13 because it was much lower. Um, I've never seen them package one this size before, so I figured I would try to buy it. But it's like all of our favorite fruits into one. It's all looking really fresh and delicious. So I just went ahead and got it because purchasing it like this is just so much more convenient and everyone's bound to devour it as opposed to like getting it and having to cut it up and then, you know, wondering if it's ripe and stuff. It's already ready to go. So I just love buying this because I'd rather spend a lot of money on these pre-cut fruits knowing they're fresh and ripe and ready than having like a lot of box snack goods. So that's why I was willing to pay that. Uh, I got some tortillas. This is a 20 pack. I really like that Aldi had such a wide range of tortilla sizes and they had wheat regular size ones available at mine. So I like this because um, there's just so many things you could do with them with the multiple sizes. I also picked them up some marshmallows, which they already got into as well. Um, but I just got these so they can have these with hot chocolate or whatever in the evenings or in the mornings. Oh, and I already showed you that. So that was everything that I got. That was all the groceries that I got. Like I said, I spent around $150 and I have seven meals planned for this week. And I already have things on hand for like, um, you know, the extras that I need for the meals. Okay, so I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I need to say that thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you guys gave me on my last video. It was so nice for a lot of you to come forward and say, you know, you're dealing with the same thing. And you've had those mornings like I have. And it's like, you know, we're going to be in these situations time and time again. And we just can't let it get the best of us. And so I'm so happy that most of you, um, you know, came forward and said you had those days too. And, you know... You were just you just supported me in that and it was okay for me to share so thank you guys so much for all your support and um you know just listening so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video let me know down below too if you guys want to see the video of me cooking these items you want to do like clean cook with me um and i can cook these meals and clean up after you know things like that just daily life motivation um and that's pretty much that so I will see you guys in the next one and I can't wait to see all your guys' answers down in the comments and be sure to uh, comment when you watch this because I do stay around for the first couple of hours responding to you guys and as always you guys can come chat with me over on Instagram if you'd wish to. I'm at monlikely on Instagram and Facebook so I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you later this week. Bye.